welcome to another episode of Peck Brothers Off-Road. Our buddies called us up yesterday and asked if we wanted to come run Pritchett Canyon. Hang on a second. This is a fast forward into the future. I'm editing this video right now and I've got to tell you guys, you've got to watch the whole video. You will not believe what happens at the end. So we jumped in the trucks, drove down here. We started running Pritchett Canyon and our buddy Dan just rolled his Jeep off the first real obstacle. Dude, this thing, this is, this has changed a ton. I've always wanted that to happen, just not to my Jeep. Dude, so we I'm... were like just about to jump out and start filming. Really? And you guys went over, oh, yeah. Dude. We like, I, he's like, okay, hey, make sure we just don't come off that bottom ledge. I'm like, all right. And then it dropped and I was like, oh no. And that's when I see him on top of me. And it didn't hurt or nothing. It was really soft and then it slammed at the bottom, but it's kind of fun. Shoot, what's the plan now? I don't know, the audio is going to be really bad with the Jeep though second last switch there so we got a bunch of hooligans down there hooking us up we got the good old warren here we got a lot of confidence in that thing Ten thousand pound warren winch just literally pulled that jeep <laughs> just drug it on its side literally like, so if you look at how he, they rolled he rolled like into that rock we hooked it to the cage on the bottom and started pulling and it started pulling the jeep away from the rock Over. That's what I think too. I think it's Alex's fault. He said it was too easy, so we gunned it. Well, it kind of looked like a turd before we got here, but you can see. The sticker's good. The hood. Oh, the, pack, the sticker's great. It's his new sponsorship, man. Mm -hmm. I heard they don't pay very well. No, it's a reverse sponsorship where I pay them. <laughs> and I can advertise for them, like unlimited. Exactly. Yeah, it's working great so far. I wonder if it turns on still. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're good. What kind of light car is that? That's a Western family. <laughs> That's a <laughs> Time out. I was going to say, when don't I you, flip. Don't you normally pull the plugs when no, you flip? No, it's straight straight. That's the advantage. You lay sideways. It's just fine. OK. It's those V8s you guys run. You don't You don't they're want those because they're not built for rolling. No, Stuck. Stuck. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, uh oh. Oh. Seen a little bit of oil coming out of that breather. Oh, that's it. Well, yeah. It, I don't it's hard. I think it's this right here. There, yep. go. there we go. I noticed when it's we the flipped. old bike lock thing. Yeah. yeah. When we flipped, it was just like floored. It's done that before. I'm like, what's it doing? <laughs> 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 so you yeah. I, think I got some oil in my contacts. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, first like a kitten, you guys. Man, I like brand new. Yeah, I think it runs better. It runs better. Anyway, you guys have a problem trying to get down this hill. I've already made it. Already down. Already down. <laughs> you and me, Alex. Let's go. Let's get out of here. So he got his hood, windshield thing, light bar thing. The hood didn't have a dent before. The hood was cherry before. Careful, SpongeBob! Careful, SpongeBob! Careful, SpongeBob! Not again today. 
<laughs> the place that he rolled was honestly exactly where I've always come down right here on Pritchett. But there was some super bad flash flooding that happened in the last couple of weeks that washed this whole canyon out. And so the trail has changed a ton. So we're probably gonna try and find a different place to go down because I don't wanna roll my Jeep today. Gosh, that looked like a pretty good line that Dan took. You yeah. gonna stick with that one? Yeah, same one. What? It's, it's fine, you just need bigger tires. That's the problem, exactly. And, and you need a V8, let's be honest. You need a V8 because they're better balanced. And bigger tires for sure. All right. And automatic. Let, let, let's see it. Because you don't, you don't roll on Pritchett. I do not roll on Pritchett. So Alex and Dan rolled right here, and Josh is going to come down over there. Ever sat still quiet this long. that long no ever that must have really rattled him <laughs> you okay then i'm talking about it right now you <laughs> <laughs> want some doritos <laughs> So Mike's got a little bit of rubber in his pickup line. That's what's going on. We just blew it out. Hopefully, hopefully there's no more rubber in there. There's a huge spider under here. Dude, look at the size of that spider under there. <laughs> Mike, that means you don't use this thing enough. Yeah, that is not right. Get ready to run. I can't get it to focus on. Oh, oh, <laughs> gonna be mad now, Mike. Next time he sees you, you're gonna get bit. We passed everything that was pretty simple, pretty easy, but this next obstacle might get interesting. I gotta give it a shot now and see what we can do about it. Honestly, I was like, there was a couple times I hit it, I was like, I'm not gonna make it up this. I well, your rear tire crawled us started coming up through your front end over yeah and it was either turn passenger and floor it yeah or, or back up back out it's on its wheels it was fun there, that's, that's there a fun off there wasn't very bad consequences because it would have just rolled in the sand yeah it would have been a nice good to the last hard obstacle on Pritchett Canyon and it's called Rock Pile. Josh is gonna try it. I think Dan's gonna try it. I don't know, I might throw my front tires on it, but let's see what happens. <laughs> Woo! This 
obstacle has got you before. What? There's been times you haven't made it. I don't think so. Have you ever given up on this one? No. No? Have I overheated on it? Yeah. Lots of times. Have that. I blown a tire on the top? Yeah. What's the plan tonight? We're just gonna hit it. You're gonna hit it? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. how much throttle? As much as it needs. I don't know. We're gonna feather it, and then we're gonna get more aggressive as we go. Okay. your dip now there you go there we go josh you're the man so dan allen this this obstacle's got the best of you before it has but you've got the best of it uh -huh. a few times i feel like uh we're about 50 50 at this point 50 50 okay today's the deal breaker the tie breaker okay so we're getting up no matter what Oh yeah, we make it or we break it. We make it or we break it. Oh, she's cleaned out now. It's not blowing any more blue. I was on my side a minute ago, but we are on our wheels now. Yeah, we're, we're on our way. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, you're running it over. It almost looked like you lost a tooth or something. I saw something white. Maybe it was your gum. Up in the old Jeep. Yeah, that, that was the drive line. line. That's a failed weld. That is a failed weld. Yeah, the weld. No, it just spun off the yoke, right? That's, yeah. that's I mean, stupid. That's Dan, who welded that? You. That was Josh. Oh! Josh! 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 Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was going to make it up, too. You had you that. Were. So the ticket I launched and that was bad. Was oh man. Oh, wow. That's a trophy, no huh? On that thing, right? No. Oh, I would take that back. We're calling six dates. That's ridiculous. Wow. Yeah, I'd be calling those guys. So we've got to tow two broken Jeeps. One doesn't have a front drive line. It busted. The other one's got a busted shaft on the rear. Rear shaft. And we got to make it to Moab before the Mexican restaurant closes. Because we're starving. If we don't make it there, I'm going to be mad because then we're going to just have water for dinner. Yeah, then we're gonna have to eat Denny's or something, yeah. some uncooked sausage and so, yeah, that ain't good. So hopefully, <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there's gonna be a couple places we're gonna have to tow Dan. Oh, yeah. At least Dan. We're gonna have to tow Dan. Rear wheel drive doesn't work very good. Let's see if we can get these Jeeps out. <laughs> Dan, you all right? Yeah, I hope that one was on video. It is. 
Holy cow. Yeah. I was yelling at you to stop. I couldn't see your face. That was uh, I lost my phone again. How many times have I rolled twice in one trip? Never. Not once have I rolled twice in one trip. Damn, I'm so sorry. Hey, Kim, it's fine. I thought I thought you guys were yelling, go! Oh, you're yelling, stop. I thought you were yelling, whoa. I thought, because we got up, the, the line kind of got tight. They were yelling, whoa! And I thought they were saying, go! Like we had some momentum, like we were gonna make it up. So I gave it some gas and I was going and like, I was like, I don't know what's going on. Like he wasn't going. So I turn around and his small light bar was above his big light bar. And I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't hear the roll. I didn't hear anything. So we're gonna hook it to the knuckle right there on the front axle, run a line up to this rock up here. No, it's rocking. snatch block from that rock down to that Jeep. And we're gonna try and roll this front tire up and over. And hopefully the two front tires will end up on top of this ledge. Cause if they don't, I have no idea how we're gonna get him up this ledge. Can't really tell, but if that rock wouldn't have been there, this is a huge cliff and it goes probably 250 feet down to the bottom. So we're gonna hook it to the roll cage to try and get a little bit more leverage on it. It was pulling that rock out. So now we've got Dan's winch hooked to a point on that rock. And then we have the other strap, still snatch block, but now to both of those rocks, back down to that Jeep. There it goes. That That's just dangerous right there. Now it's working. It's probably bound up in there. Yes. Tires are still on top of that ledge. Josh just hooked to him and got his front tires up this ledge. So we're gonna pull his winch line all the way in and see if we can get him the rest of the way out of here. There's still a mean spot to try and get him up. Yeah, it's, I don't, I don't think we're hitting dinner tonight. No. All right, you're hooked to Josh, you're in his hands. Was, was there oil all over your seat? Yeah, it looks like Armor All, that shine. But that, my it friend, that's 10W30. We lost some motor oil here, so we're gonna check, see if we're reading. Yeah, we're... It's a bit on an angle, though. We're definitely low. Nobody has any. It won't no, focus. We we do? I've got yeah, some Tim, swept Tim's got some. I bet, got some. I bet a core finger core. Hey. You should probably pull these plugs. What do you think, Josh? No, no, it's straight six. No. Just fired up. Just fired up. <laughs> oh. I held it a little longer, I'm not sure. Can we just <laughs> tap it again. <laughs> That's that sounds good. It's turning. I don't know what's the can... start? Dude, that thing was upside down for like this thing never half died. an hour. Stupid <laughs> six cylinders go forever. They literally didn't even pull the plugs. Crazy. Throw some oil in it and keep going, right? Well, we don't have any oil. Come on, man. I've got some Swepco we could throw in it. I got some water too. Some water. If it's only a core, we can make it out of here. It's not gonna get, this This should not be on camera. Anyway, let me tell you what happened here. Here I was with all my best friends. One of my new best friends in his, in his cool Jeep, he was gonna pull me up. Well, suddenly he thought I said, floor it. And I said, <laughs> please stop, please stop. But all he heard was floor it. So that's what he did. Anyway. That's what happens. The rest is history. A few moments later. So we're at the bottom of Chewy Hill and Josh is pulling Dan now. And this is gonna 
be pretty nasty. I hope he doesn't flip again. I hope he doesn't roll again, dude. I will feel so bad. I think it'd be all right though. Like you really don't need drive and the sand has filled in the bottom. It's not quite as bad as it normally is. I think it'd be all right. It looks like Josh is coming down first. Dan's on his way down. Oh my gosh. But lug studs busted, Dan. Guys, Dude. I've had, I just want to go get a burrito. <laughs> Dude. Why is this happening to me? Damn! You think I can floor it out of here? This is bad, Josh! We got problems, Josh! Dude! I was standing right there the for Alex's and the tire rolled and fell on my feet. Oh, my wait, can we put it on? Or what just happened? Broken? The studs are gone. The All studs are gone. Josh, you need Where to come see go? this. I've had enough of that joke today. This Jeep is sleeping in the bottom of this hill, but I'm driving down. Hey, Dan, go. Hey, Dan, go. Everything's fine, Mike. Keep going. <laughs> Dude, I've never even that, heard of that. That is why that. you don't run a five or six lug, I guess. I that. only had three lug nuts on it. No, I'm <laughs> Right here. I, I got, right here. Unless you have a skateboard to put that on. <laughs> <laughs> can we just roll you off the side here? <laughs> Where can I get out this time though? I'm so sick of rolling. Yeah, they're they're concert tomorrow. Know, they're they're come back till You're going to Morgan Wallen, aren't you? Yeah. That was definitely my Oh, wow. So we're like most of the way down Pritchett and we have to head back to the truck to get a bunch of tools to try and fix. And it's about 11 o'clock. Yeah, so we got to get a floor jack to get the Jeep up off the ground, a couple of tools to get his front end apart, and we're going to take three lug studs off the one side, put them on the other side, so he'll only be running three lug nuts on the front on each side. So hopefully it's enough to get us out. We think it will be, but that's our plan. So they're going to start tearing it apart while we're on our way to get the jack, so we got to cruise. 20 minutes later. We should have the tools we need. We got some... Uh, Wendy's chicken nuggets kicking on the, the top or on the motor. It should be warm by Got the time we get there. Floor jack or tool bags or Milwaukee lights, cold waters, punches, all sorts of good stuff. Grinders just in case, impacts. So we should be in good. We should be able to get him fixed and back down here tonight. So we're hoping to be back here by one or two o'clock. So we just got here through the jack underneath there. They got three studs into the spindle, from the other whatever the heck, from the other side. These guys are pure redneck ingenuity yeah, here. We've got three studs, we only have two nuts. So. Oh, <laughs> so we got two lug nuts to try and get him down Chewy Hill. While we were at the truck, we found some problems with the rear caliper on my Jeep. If you can see, this should be straight and it's not straight it's on an angle there's a crack right there that's cracked that's definitely cracked so i've been using my rear brakes pretty pretty sparingly because if those end up cracking fully and it lifts the caliper up off of the bracket it'll rip the brake line off and then i won't have any brakes we're still clear up on Chewy Hill, so there's a ton of trail left to get back. So hopefully we can get back good. Hopefully we can get Dan down Chewy Hill with no carnage and then back up where he rolled the first time. There's a couple more obstacles, but we should be in good shape. All right. If the Jeep breaks down one more time on the way out of here, we leave it. Good roll? deal. We blows on her. If you yep. roll, is that okay? Yep. No, just leave me in it, Dan. <laughs> 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 I'm really tired. I want to lay down. It's finished. The tire's back on. Dan's feeling like we're in good shape. A million bucks. Here we go. We're going to make it happen. Hey!
Hey, feel I'm in the mood for a switch up. Thank goodness everybody is down Chewy Hill. Dan was this close to rolling, but again, we're down. we just have a couple obstacles to climb, and uh, we should be out of here. Look at Braid being our our day. light guy for everybody, so they can get good footage. I invested in this light, and I knew it'd come in handy one day. I think everybody's underestimating this last obstacle. I think everybody's wishes that my LJ was done too, because. You have all, all the, the tools. All the tools, all the spare parts. I wish it was done. Yeah, the only thing I really should probably figure out is a jack. <laughs> yeah, we got a long ways out, but we're we're down the hardest. We're down the hardest. We yeah. just have one more to go up. Yep. Yeah, one hard up to do. That's coming. A few moments later. Here's where the problems are. I went up where we came down. I went I went up this right here, yeah. Yeah. But it's 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 meaner than it looks. I had I struggled on it for some reason. Dude, me and Brady just barely went up this and I had to hit it hard. I heard you through the canyon. Yeah, like I was in it. I don't know about this one. Yeah. Dan I don't know if Dan's getting up this. May, maybe I Mike in the freeway only, drive. The way I see Dan getting up is Josh getting up. And Dan, and Dan winching, winching to jog. There's just there's not a very big platform at the top. Like you get to the top and you have to turn, like right when you get to the top. So there's not very much of a winch point. But I think they got it figured out how they want to do it. So we'll see what we'll see what happens. The Josh just made it up it with a couple of tries. Brady's bringing our light to watch Dan try and get. Oh here here he is. to hear guys it's a little hard yeah, to hear no yeah. they're stacking rocks on that big ledge to try and get his front tires up and over the top to try and get his front end as far up this as we can and then we can drag him the rest of the way what's going on i'm just the light guy <laughs> you're helping you're helping every subscriber we have yeah. We, if ever anyone needs stadium lighting, just give us a call. Exactly. There it is. We got it. Woo! Oh, Lord, God. There we go. We just have Mike to get up. We're going to try and get him up and see if he can get up. Bro, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> We're going to try and see if Mike can get up on his own power. Chance he, he was getting it. Yeah, we're gonna have to pull him. Alex just jumped in my Jeep, so we're gonna see if he can get up it. Just hit it harder. watching your own Jeep do it. I've, I've like never really heard my Jeep with the new muffler from the outside and I absolutely love it. Right on, dude. Dude, this Jeep is so fun to hit stuff with. Dude, you, love it. you were into it. I'll bet that felt good. You haven't done that in a while. It's making me really want my Jeep bad. Heck yeah, thanks for getting it up safe. Heck yeah. One eternity later. We finally made it back. The Jeep's loaded up. That was the wildest Pritchett ride we've ever been a part of. Thanks to Dan. Thanks to Dan. Did you guys have fun? Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> we might start a GoFundMe for Dan and a new hood. So if you want to donate to that, we might have a link. Money, you guys, it's fine. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching this episode of Peck Brothers Off Road. Off -road.